Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Of course, a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Now, this is kind of a different review. I initially clumped this review together with a larger review of some of my favorite fountain pens. That larger video is up here. You can go and check that out. But today, this review is going to be my full thoughts, pros, cons, everything, my full version, extended cut version of this review of this fountain pen. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in any of these, definitely check out the links below. Enjoy. Next is a pen from Pilot, and this one is their E95S. Now, Pilot needs no introduction when it comes to pens. They are a megalith in the pen industry, and they've made countless pens that are great designs. I could mention a hundred different pens by Pilot alone, but one that I really love from Pilot is this, the E95S. Now they have two different colors of this, but my personal favorite is the burgundy and ivory one. Now there's so much to love about this pen. It is very lightweight, it's compact, and it has a gold nib. And let's talk about this nib real quick. This is a very interesting nib and feed, not something you'll find in many other pens out there. Has almost like a fingernail type of look, very low profile and sleek. I find that it looks like a lady's fingernail and that's what I really like about it. And that's why I like this colorway the most. Now I mentioned this being compact and it is a great small-ish type of pen. It's not much smaller than a traditional pen that you'd find, but it's small enough. I like this design where you take it out of its cap post the cap and it becomes a full-size pen. And let me talk about the writing experience. It is butter. It is one of the best writers out there that I have tried. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this nib or the writing or the feed or the ink flow. It is absolute perfection. It is a joy to write with and I would write with this all day long. Now the ink that I have with this is Monteverde Napa Burgundy, and I really like this ink a lot, and it works well in this pen. Now this comes with a proprietary Pilot cartridge or the provided converter that comes inside this pen. But that brings me to a couple of things I don't like about this pen. For one, it is a proprietary cartridge system. If you have a favorite ink out there, chances are they're going to make their inks in cartridges that are international cartridge fits and not in this Pilot fit, which is unfortunate. Now you can refill a Pilot cartridge if you want to, but that's just an added headache. The other complaint that I have here is the converter that it comes with is tiny. It is really small and it doesn't hold a lot of ink at all, maybe half as much as a normal converter would. Now that's partly due to its size. There's not a lot to work with as far as size on the inside of this, but still it does not hold that much ink. But I really wish that the capacity of the converter was just a little bit better. Now to me, the ink cartridge and the ink converter is kind of a big deal, but one quibble that I have is the weight. The weight with this is light, and that can be a good thing for some people. Some people might like that. But to me, whenever I'm buying something that is $136, I kind of almost expect something to be a little bit heavier than this. There's something about the weight of this pen that feels lighter than it should and brings almost a sense of dissatisfaction whenever you're writing with this pen. It feels almost like it's cheap, and I know that it's not, but the weight is just a psychological barrier almost, at least with me. With those quibbles, I still think this is an amazing pen with just a really cool look to it, a buttery smooth writer, and I absolutely love it. Definitely check out the Pilot E95S, fantastic. I think everyone should have at least one fountain pen in their collection to write with, to enjoy the kind of slower pace that a fountain pen brings. I think it's a very enjoyable experience with writing, and I think all of these pens are excellent, excellent pens. I'd love to know your thoughts though, so if you have any favorite fountain pens that I forgot to mention, definitely leave a comment of your favorite fountain pens. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below on your way out. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews.